TikTok, Bitcoin and rest of the crypto markets are down. So what's going on? What happens next? There is a silver lining. I'm going to explain. So make sure to stay till the end. First, if you look at the stock market, every index is down, down bad for the year. There is blood on the street, guys. If you look at Nasdaq, it's down 20% for the year. If you look at individual stocks, Netflix, the darling of Wall Street, is down 77% from all-time highs. And Tesla is down 12% just yesterday. Even Apple and Google are down for the year. Google is down almost 20% for the year. Now let's take a look at the crypto market. If you look at the crypto market, across the board, you see most of the cryptos are down 7 to 10% in the last week. So why are the stocks and cryptos tanking? Well, we have spoken about this. Inflation is soaring. Even in Australia, the inflation is at a 21 year high. And the best way to bring down inflation is to raise interest rates. And that's exactly what the Fed is doing. The last time Fed raised interest rates aggressively and did quantitative tightening, Bitcoin went into a massive crypto winter. But just before that, we had a massive rally. Here are some of the indicators I'm looking at which can potentially signal a massive upcoming rally. The first one is the US dollar index. If you look at the dollar index, it's hitting a multi-year resistance. We've had this major parabolic move towards resistance and I'm expecting a pullback. The next indicator I'm looking at is the stablecoin dominance. If you look at the stablecoin dominance chart, we are again hitting the resistance. And as we hit the resistance and pull back, we should expect that money flowing into cryptos. Now looking at the Bitcoin chart, if you look at the Bitcoin chart, we have had some major support around this 38k range. And this is where I've actually started accumulating some of my favorite altcoins as well as Bitcoin. If you're looking to pick up some cryptos during this pullback, especially the altcoins, something you may want to consider is their performance against Bitcoin or Ethereum. If you look at ICP, it's been on this downward trajectory pretty much forever. And this applies for XRP, HPAR and so many other altcoins. Now, if you look at Terra Luna or NEAR against Bitcoin, you can see they're in clear uptrend. These are the kind of cryptos or altcoins I would be picking up during this pullback. All the indicators I'm looking at are hinting that we're going to have a major reversal soon or we could have a massive crash. What do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments and make sure to follow to stay up to date on the markets. And finally, this is just a reminder, buy the dips, sell the dips. Don't FOMO into green candles.